Do you have, um, when you're doing the landscape or I guess for all the different types of things you shoot, do you have like a favorite lens that you like to go to for each of the different scenarios? You know, it's the funny thing is uh, I've, I've been, I've been experimenting a lot with lenses and I know a lot of uh, very popular photographers, they just, they know what they want, but I shoot on just about everything. Um, I mean, I'm still one of my favorites to shoot, uh, I guess would be the, I have a, a Sigma 1770 uh, and uh, I like it. It's, it's beautiful. It gives me a nice broad spectrum what I'm looking at, but I also like taking the wide. I, um, I have an old Canon wide uh, lens. I can't recall off the top of my head what, what the, the number is, but uh, I love getting that full, that full shot. If the foreground allows me, I'm in the city, so we don't get a lot of broad area. Hmm. Yeah. You know, you're talking about <clears throat> not sure which mirrorless to pull the trigger on for doing the stuff you want. And it sounds like just a, just an opinion here. Uh, I'm sure people in the comment section will shoot me down, but the R5, if you're looking at the Canon system, because it has the, or the R3, even if you can swing it, uh, because of the megapixels um, for those larger kind of landscapes, especially those wide ones, you can crop in to bring out details without losing a lot of that, uh, the detail there. So just something to think about. Yeah, I think ideally, I, I definitely want to focus on a camera that I can I can t make large prints where I, I can put myself in a position where I can sell some of these prints and blow them up and not lose the, the quality. So that's not a bad idea. Uh -huh.